If this is your first time seeing this, can you guess what it is? To me, it's like a giant paper lantern shaped balloon, right? Actually, this is Sierra Space's life habitat, a futuristic space habitat designed to sustain human life in space. And if successful, this technology is going to be useful wherever human spaceflight takes us. In fact, the company has recently completed a host of different tests that NASA is requiring to make sure it's not only viable, but safe for a lengthy human presence in space. So, what is life like inside the future of space habitation? And how many people can it fit? Also, can it protect us from things like radiation, space debris, asteroids, and so on? Let's find out more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The International Space Station will probably be retired before 2030, nearly 30 years after its launch in 1998. Naturally, private companies are looking to fill the expanse, and we have Sierra Space with its Large Integrated Flexible Environment Habitat, or LIFE. Like an interstellar bouncy house, the LIFE habitat resembles a giant balloon covered in a thick woven canvas. It's designed to be launched deflated inside the nose cone or payload fairing of a rocket, the standard size being a 5 meter diameter. Once in space, it will be inflated, which is a process that will take several hours to a size that's 27 feet in diameter and 27 feet long. From the outside, life looks like it would make for a cramped living space for four people. But as they say, it's bigger on the inside. The interior houses three floors of living and workspace, complete with a medical bay, science labs, stations for robotics, docks for iPads for movies during downtime, and a multi-tiered space garden to provide fresh produce for the astronauts. The habitat's outer mesh is made from super strong Vectron, a material used in making bulletproof vests designed to keep the pressurized interior of the habitat comfortable for the crew. There's an inner urethane bladder to keep the air inside, a middle nylon layer along with several layers of four inch thick foam and six sheets of Kevlar. Meanwhile, much like its predecessor, the International Space Station, Gateway will be built from various modules supplied by US companies and international partners. However, getting habitats and other components of large orbiting vehicles into space is no small feat. The majority of spacefaring modules are rigid structures, which have to completely fit inside a standard 5 meter rocket fairing. However, using a compact inflatable design offers NASA much more flexibility, a lot more room for science and living space, and rapid deployment. We wanted to make sure that as soon as we got the first pieces of our gateway launched and in orbit, they could be used for exploration, without having to wait for a whole bunch of other pieces to go up. Steve Lindsay, Vice President of SNC Space Exploration Systems and a former NASA astronaut said, And by going inflatable, you start deflated, and it's a much smaller size you can package within the fairing of a standard rocket, so you get it up there and then inflate it and build it. We couldn't get anywhere near this size had we not done that. The Sierra Space Life Habitat is designed to provide a comfortable living environment for astronauts. The habitat is equipped with a temperature and humidity control system which maintains a comfortable temperature and humidity level inside the habitat. The water reclamation system recycles wastewater, condensation, and urine into clean water for drinking, washing, and other uses. The waste management system converts human waste into fertilizer, which can then be used to grow plants and food in space. The habitat is also equipped with a lighting system, which provides natural light and helps regulate the astronaut's sleep-wake cycle. It's also designed to provide privacy for the astronauts with individual sleeping compartments and a shared common area for socializing and eating. The life habitat is also designed to be sustainable and energy efficient. The habitat is equipped with solar panels and a backup battery system, which provides a reliable source of electricity for the astronauts. The habitat also uses energy efficient lighting and appliances to reduce energy consumption and minimize waste. It's designed to be as self-sufficient as possible with the ability to grow plants and food inside the habitat using advanced hydroponic and aeroponic systems. All of that sounds great, 
But before the life habitat can be sent into space and provide humans with a place to stay, a lot of testing is needed. So hang on to your seats because there's bound to be a bunch of explosive developments. Sierra Space finished its fourth deliberate module explosion in February on the road to certifying the inflatable habitat for an International Space Station successor. A small-scale prototype of the life module was deliberately blown to pieces after spending a month withstanding high pressures well above what will be required of the hardware in space. The testing shows the forthcoming full-scale module can likely stand up to pressurization for more than 60 years, which is four times the expected 15-year lifespan of the orbital reef space station led by Blue Origin, Sierra Space representative said. We are obviously simulating pressures well in excess of the norm. Sean Buckley, Sierra Space Chief Engineer for Life said in the company's statement, Test after extreme test, we continue to exceed our program requirements. The month-long accelerated systematic creep test on the one-third scale life module was the first of 2023. Just a few months prior in January, Life Habitat successfully completed a third stress test, this time for duration exceeding NASA certification requirements and demonstrating the inflatable structure's integrity for sustaining human life in space for long periods of time. The unit's soft goods pressure shell burst after over 150 hours, exceeding NASA's short-term recommended creep duration target of 100 hours. High-strength soft goods materials are sewn and woven fabrics, primarily Vectron, that become rigid structures when pressurized and can provide safe and sustainable architecture for space habitation. These tests are different kinds of stress tests than the two previous one conducted last July and November, which pressurized units with increasing loads until they burst at maximum or ultimate burst pressure. All four tests took place within seven months, further demonstrating Sierra Space as a market leader in the development of soft goods inflatable habitat technology, a key step in facilitating extended human missions to low Earth orbit, the Moon, and Mars. More testing is planned in the coming months. Engineers are planning to insert hard structures into the soft pressure shell on a one-third scale module to verify past results next, and finally to begin testing on full-scale life habitat prototypes later in 2023. Life represents the essential technology developments needed to one day enable humans to live and work in space, said Sierra Space CEO Tom Weiss. Habitat units are a key element in Sierra Space's platform in space and this crucial milestone illustrates that our team has exceeded programmatic requirements that validate critical aspects of the life design. These results will propel us in 2023 as we mature the technology via full-scale development and continue toward full NASA certification. And that's about all the information we have for you today. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.